Welcome to this AgDrive video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how invoicing works along with the Xero integration in AgDrive. In AgDrive, we can also filter search any job that's currently been recorded on, on AgDrive. So whether it be by the customer, by the operation, by the invoice status, by the operator, and we can even select a date range, we can find any pretty much any job that's been recorded on the platform. We can also download all of this information as an Excel spreadsheet um, if you want to do anything with that information from there. We can also schedule jobs as well by pressing add. Please view our job scheduling video to see a bit more information on that. But again, on the actual jobs page, we have, you know, the job, every job has a job number, the operation, the customer, the date that it was done on, the fields that they've been in, who the operator was, the billable quantity, whether that job's been completed or it's been scheduled. And then again, we also have an approve button. This is to say that some form of management has checked over that job and okayed it ready for invoicing. So as we can see, we've got a couple of jobs on here that have already been approved. We've got one that's already been invoiced. And if, say if I was to click on this particular job here, I can view this job. I've got all the details in terms of who the customer was that did that job, the date it was scheduled on, whether that job's been completed or not. I could also delete that job if I wish. But I can also edit any of the details if I wish. Prior to it being approved, we know who the operator was, what vehicle he was driving, if, what implement he was using, how long he's been there, the fields that he's actually been in, the billing information in terms of how many acres he's done, for example, any extra information can be attached, any fuel use, time records, any notes and photographs can also be attached onto this particular job. And what we can do is we can also download a job PDF and what we can also do is download a PDF job report showing exactly where the operator's been in the field. An example of this is on screen now. And as well, we can also approve jobs for invoicing. So we can either do this from the jobs page or we can do it from inside the job as well. So I'm just gonna press approve for invoicing like so. And now this job has been changed to approve for invoicing. So we can now go and invoice this job. So if I just press back and go onto the jobs page, I can then go and invoice all these jobs that have already been approved. So to go to invoice in AgDrive with Xero, go to the invoices tab on the left hand side. So this is now going to open up our Xero API because we actually haven't invoiced any jobs on Xero, it says no invoices found at the moment. So we're just going to press add. So now we're going to go and click on the, the jobs that we want to actually invoice. So because I've selected a DF farming limited job, it's going to filter search all of those jobs so we can invoice multiple jobs all at once and then go to preview invoice this is then going to load up our customer in ag drive as well as the contact that's linked within um, our zero account so if you're unsure on how to actually integrate your zero account or even import your customers directly into ag drive from zero please view our accounts package software video so to actually invoice, we can actually select our products and services. So these come directly from your Xero account. So what I would suggest is that you have all of your operations set up in AgDrive, very similar to how you have them named as your products and services in Xero. And of course, because we've selected this product and service in, within Xero, it's then loading up our unit prices directly from our Xero account rather than the actual billing rate that you've set in AgDrive. And this is only for if you've got it integrated with your account software. So as we can see, it's already automatically putting the, the, the correct tax details in there. It's also allocated that invoice to the right account. So at the end of the year, you should save a lot of accounting fees as all these invoices are going to be allocated in your chart of accounts correctly. We can also remove our line items in here. We can also add new ones in, where it be products and services from your zero account. So like so, I'm just gonna go down and select our product and services in here. So then from there, we can then generate, attach a PDF job report. So now these PDF job reports have been attached. And if we like as well, we can also edit any of the information, whether it be by the unit price or the quantity, we can edit this in AgDrive at the moment, as well as when we actually press create, it will send the invoice as a draft to zero. And you can also edit any, any of the information from there. So don't worry if you approve a job by accident, you can still edit any of the invoicing details on this invoicing side in AgDrive or in Xero. So because we've got our PDF job reports attached, we're just gonna press create, which is then gonna send that 
invoice to to zero as a draft. It's going to open it up in zero for us. So here we have the draft invoice within zero. We've also got the PDF job reports attached. If I go to invoices now, so we've got this invoice here already. So I can click on that invoice. I can have a put in my reference in here, and also I can view the job reports that are already in that are going to be attached onto your zero invoice. So then when we actually send the zero invoice to the customer, it will still be in your zero style of invoicing, yet we're still going to have this PDF job report from AgDrive there as proof of work um, to your customer. So you look like more of a professional service as well as being able to invoice norm normally for your zero accounts package. So if I'm happy with this job, it's just a case of going to approve and send. So I've just approved that invoice and now we can just send that copy to the customer. So if we go back into our invoices, we can see that this invoice was sent and it's also got our PDF job reports on there. So then if we go back into our AgDrive account, we can see that this invoice has already been sent and then when jobs get paid, it'll also say in there that the job has been paid. We can also click view and it would open it up again back into zero. And as well, we can also check up on the jobs by clicking on the, the jobs in here and we can actually view the job details back in AgDrive as well, like so. And we can see that this job status has now been switched to invoice now. Thank you very much for watching this video on invoicing with Xero in AgDrive. If you have any questions or queries, I'll leave our contact details in the description below. Thank you very much for watching.